happen. Oh, hey, Biafra Mazi. Can somebody hear me? Am I coming out loud and clear? Thank you very much. Biafra. All hail Biafra. IPOB, one family. One family, IPOB. Comrades, you are all welcome to Biafra and Twitter space. Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon from wherever you're joining us. You are all welcome to Biafra and Twitter space. And I say as you're joining us, please try and share and invite your friends, your families, your way wishers, even your enemies, tell them we are back. After the long battle with Twitter, we've been having serious issues with Twitter, but I think today we should be able to broadcast, we should be able to share, create this awareness.
Oh, hey, Biafra, one more time. Am I coming out loud and clear? Can somebody indicate, please? Thanks very much, Mwachineke. My name, remember, Mazichukwe Mekanyoro, for like, as you all, you all are witnessing it, we are under serious attack from the enemies that are meant to be. But they can never shut us down. We will continue, no matter what they are doing, we shall continue. We are getting to the end of this struggle. We are getting to the end where we will restore the kingdom of Chukwe Kabiam on earth. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. The power that are meant to be are losing everything. So they are fighting a tooth and nail to make sure that they shut every mouth that will put all their evil deeds, that will bring out all their evil deeds to the light. They are doing everything possible to shut it, including this hallowed space, Biafran Twitter space. But we will not let it. It cannot happen. I've written to the Twitter owner about the problem we are having each time we are hosting a space. We are not the only freedom fighting movement that exists. But why are we being attacked? I don't understand why. I'm still going to make a post where I'm going to put him on the hashtag, asking him several questions. Why are we, why are they trying to stop us? Why is he allowing the power to be to stop us from preaching, creating awareness? Does he like it the way our people are being murdered? Does he like it the way all the injustice that are being peddled upon our people? Is he condoling it or what? But I don't think so because I know Elon Musk stand for those that are, that are suffering from injustice, those that are oppressed. Elon Musk has promised to always give freedom of speech a chance in this blue bed called Twitter. So, and this is what we expect from him. So I bet once he knows what they are doing with us, he is going to react. But we must continue. The fight continue. We must continue and nothing is going to stop us. Before I continue, I want to send thanks and praise to our supreme leader, Onion Dumazin Nan Dekano, our spiritual leader, a man that was brutally kidnapped in Kenya and renditioned to the contraption called Zoo Nigeria since June 2021. And since 13th of October, the appeal court of the zoo has freed him. And since more than six months, our leader is being detained illegally in DSS uh, uh, center at Abuja there. And every Eastern politicians are keeping moot about it. The Western world are keeping moot about it. British government, of which our leader is having their passport, is keeping moot about it. Everybody has turned blind eye to the oppressed, to the injustice peddled against our leader, Onyen Dumazin Nandekano Hamadi Kendibo. But we shall not turn blind eye because our leader has taught us continuity. We shall continue. Nothing, there's nothing they can do to stop us. We shall tell our story to the world, whether they like it or not. Thank God there are new world orders. The wind of change is blowing, and that wind of change will soon reach to our coast. Whether they like it or not, Biafra shall be freed. There is nothing any human being born of a man can do about it. It is a promise our leader gave them that is either they let Biafra go or Europe will be destroyed. And they are witnessing it. They are not far from it. They still have time to save themselves. The earlier they do the, the writing, the better for the humanity. I thank each and every one of you for joining us. Please try and share this program. We are not going to take much of your time. Try and share this program. Invite your friends. Invite your well wishers, even your enemies. Invite them. Let them come and face the reality of the atrocities they are committing in our holy land called Biafra. Let everybody come and know exactly the stand of the indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership of Mazen Nandekanu in his absence under the leadership of the DOS. Headed by our head DOS, Mazichi Kedosium, we continue. Our train has no revise, and anybody that jump in front, we are going to march him mercilessly. You can ask the Britain and those that are supporting them what they've witnessed from our hand, from Tony Blair to all other people. I thank each and every one of you. If you have interest to contribute to, to this program, all you need to do is to indicate. And as time goes in, I'm going to call you in and you will have your three minutes to contribute. Because this, like as I'm saying, or I used to say, or like those that are used to this program knows, 
we are not here for family meeting or kindred meeting or omona meeting this in this space we gather to strategize and execute we gather to create awareness for, for our people to understand what time we have right now as we are getting to the end of this struggle where we must restore biafra against all odds we want our people to be vigilant more especially the coming two weeks now that the spring court have started hearing the case of our leader now that they've, they've said now that in two weeks time they're going to take decision we want our people to be at alert watch your brother's back because we know that the infiltrators among us the agent provocateurs those that took money from the zoo government to make sure that our leader does not come out they will try to commit all kind of atrocities within these two weeks so that they will have argument that they to present in the court it is our duty. It is the duty of anybody that loves Onion Dumas and Nande Kanu to make sure that you are at, you are at watch, to make sure that you watch your communities, to make sure that you watch your neighbors, to make sure that you watch the cities, the area that you're living. Once you notice unnecessary activities from these agent provocateurs, that you call them out immediately, that you alert the necessary people that you need to alert. IPOB number. We've posted it many times. Most of you should have it. So that men on the ground will pick these agent provocateurs out, those that are trying to make sure that our, our leader does not come out. Once you notice unnecessary movement, you know the right thing to do. And this is what we expect from you, that you do it. We are reminding the contraption called Zoo Nigeria, transferring prisoners that have to be to be, uh, tuberculosis closer to our lead onion doom as in and they can it's never a solution instead it's going to spare doom for that contraption and all mankind because we can we we must not tell you what will happen if anything happens to our leader there is no way to turn it around to tell us that this or that or this because every of your actions showed us already where you guys are heading to but we are going to make sure you don't get to your destination because our leader have a heavenly mandate and he must fulfill it as long as the chukwoka biama that gave him this mandate have said that his time is not there there is nothing any human being can do so we must continue a lot of events has happened all this while and they make sure that they, they that they should that, that they block us so that we we cannot conversate that we cannot interact that we cannot discuss about it that we cannot create awareness and give our people the real information that we don't tell our story by ourselves they keep blocking us from broadcasting on this space but today we have the opportunity you have the opportunity every biafran have the opportunity to say it the way it is we shall remain real against all odds before we continue i will beg everybody listening to take a minute silent our great commander Ikunso, to remember him for because you know the past uh, for the, uh, the the last days was the remembrance of the uh, the day that he was murdered by the criminal zoo authorities, the handwork of the agent provocateurs, those that betrayed him, that that betrayed him to the Nigerian zoo authorities, and he was murdered. Right now, we we'll call for one minute silence, and after that, we shall continue. In the name of Chukwu Kabiyama, from now. In the name of Chukwu Kabiyama, we pray that the soul of our legend, Ikonso, rest in the hand of Elohim forever and ever. He say, he say, he say, as you have seen, our legal department are doing their best to make sure not just our leader, Onyendu Mazen Nandekano, regain his freedom. We have good news that our sister, Idara Gold, has finally regained her freedom. We thank Okike for all the good things he's been doing in our struggle. We know that we're we scoring victory after victory. 
victory is our name, victorious we shall be, and there is nothing our enemies can do about it. Because at the end of the day, they are holding an innocent man that didn't do anything. So there is nothing anybody can do. At the end of the day, our leader shall, shall be free. We want to use this opportunity to invite all Biafran's lovers of freedom from all over the world to join us on the 1st of May, join IPOB Austria on their rally on the 1st of May, to join them, show the presence, let the world know what our people are going through. Let the world understand that our people are being murdered daily in numbers, not just 10, 20, but in 100 in numbers. That there is silent genocide going on in Biafra, which the world is not talking about. But we know with the wave of events, things that are happening, that the Russians are now in the mix, just like as we predicted, and they are now at the helm of UN affairs. The, the United Nations right now is being headed by Russian diplomats. So this is a great opportunity for our people. It is the work of Chukwu Kabiyama that at this particular time that the events are turning like this. So we hope that these things, this wind of change, will bring positive change and we make sure that the mandate that Okike gave our leader that this time around it come to pass because almost every prophecies our leader made in the past are coming to the past. So the only thing that was remaining was the restoration of kingdom of God on this mother earth called Biafra. And we know that this is the time and there is nothing anybody can do about it. Nigerian government have no case our, against our leader. These two governments have no case against our leader. And now that the Supreme Court has finally deemed it necessary to answer this case, those of you that are listening to the interview of our able barrister, Ifanye uh, Jofo, uh, all of you understand what she was, what he was trying to explain there. They all the zoo are looking for our delay tactics to make sure that our leader is not released. They are looking for delay tactics to give the agent provocateur the time to commit more crime so that they will find something they excuse to hold our leader. I am saying it this evening. It is a call of duty for all Biafrans, for all of us of freedom, for all of you that are royal to our leader, Onyen Dumasin Nandekano, to make sure that before the next sitting court case of our leader in two weeks' time, that you watch your back, watch the back of your neighbors, watch the back of your communities. Watch the back of your cities. Make sure that we don't give these cells, these agent provocateurs, those that are sabotaging this struggle, those that have taken money from Nigerian government to make sure that we don't get to promised land. Don't give them the opportunity. We, are, we have the numbers. We are more than them. There are only few working with some of the Eastern politicians. We shall make sure that this time around, all their efforts will be in futility. Like as our leader used to say, I can say I have a honor, and there is nothing they can do against it. I can say I have a honor. And this time around, we know that the Supreme Court will be forced to do the right things, whether they like it or not, because the world satellites are focused in that contraption cause you. They have a long way to go. The, they must do the right thing. The world are watching them. The world have started asking the question. This credit goes to the dust. This credit goes to the structure our leader created. The, uh, the, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Onyendumazin Nandekano, in his absence, in control, this credit goes to the dust. This wise group of people that our leader assembled to make sure that this ship called IPOB keeps sailing against all odds. We thank them and we say, Mechupo Kabiyama, bless them because through their efforts, the world are now seeing what we've been preaching. We keep telling the world that in that contraption caused in Nigeria, there is no space for a Biafran. In that contraption caused in Nigeria, there is no space for an Igbo man. But with the event from 25th of February, with the selection called election in that contraption caused zoo. We are candidate Mazipi to be one, and they stole his mandate. It has one more time proven our case that in that contraption called Zoo Nigeria, that our people has no place there. 
So everything that they are planning, every of their efforts shall be on our advantage. We told them before this election, we told them, if you like whatever happens, whatever the outcome is, shall be on the advantage of IP indigenous people of Biafra. There is no way against it. If they like, they should give P2B. It's not our problem. We don't care. If they like, they shouldn't give him. Our primary objective remains to free our leader, Union Dumas in Nandekano, and to restore the kingdom of God on earth, which is Biafra land. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. Comrade, brethren, before we continue, I want to use this opportunity to give Mazio Ziomachi his three minutes to be able to contribute because today we have a lot of things to discuss, even though we have only one hour. Like, as you all know, Mazio Ziomachi, can you hear me? Of course, of course. Mazio, Mazio, I can hear you. Mazio you're welcome. May Okike bless you. The mic is yours. All right, thank you so much for the opportunity. You know, we have been we have been doing this thing for a very long time. I think since last year I joined this, I've learned so much from Mazi Chukwamakan or from your speeches. Your words are a very big encouragement to me in this struggle. Thank you so much. You see, we have we have been many people have their faith are falling down because of uh, this struggle, the way they want things to be, the way yeah, sometimes they will uh, they will be in, uh, they will be uh, fighting to um, uh, fighting uh, family writers based on their post that this is how these things should be. They need to bring mass and the kind out. They will kill uh, Nigeria. They will do this thing, but they don't understand the process that is going on. I know we have suffered so much from the hand of Nigeria, but what Nigeria have failed to understand that the, everything in this life has an expiring date. When they are holding him, as long as they have reduced a Dara Gold, that was one of the posts I made today. For the fact that Nigeria have become tired of holding a Dara Gold, a Dara Gold, they will still be tired of holding Mas Nanakano. They will still bring him. He's going to come out. And this freedom we are looking for, we will still get it. And But it can only be a possibility on our own solidarity. If our people can, on, because most of them don't understand what we are doing. A lot of them think that uh, we are wasting time. A lot of them think that we, um, uh, some of them are using it to get money or whatever they think. But one thing I believe is that everything in this life has seasons and time. When that season will come, Biafra will be, will be released. Biafra will become a sovereign nation that will save Africa. Because the other day when I was reading the history of um, uh, the history of about African country, uh, African continent. I came to understand that there is a name Africa was answering before called Okeboland. You can make research about it. Okeboland was the name of Africa before it was changed by the Europeans and called it Africa. Just like they also came to so many countries and changed the names of the country. They came to our country, they changed our names. We start answering English name. So their aim has always been to wipe history out of the life of people. Because the moment you change your name, you have changed your history. Nobody, you, you, I can't trace you with your English name because you are not a white man. You understand? So our people need to become very strong in this our struggle. Understand that everything in life has seasons and time. Seasons bring things around. Time establishes purposes. So when the when the season will come, we will get our freedom. But the only thing that we must be consistent in our pursuit for the freedom. So I have a, 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 I have a strong feeling and a strong mind that one day Biafra will come. And my prayer every day is that it will come. Because what I want to do for my generation, Nigeria is going to fight me. Nigeria will be against it, especially in terms of education. Look at our education system, very, very poor. The people that gave us education here doesn't value it. My uncle that went to school in Futo, uh, Imo State, when after schooling in Futo, he traveled to London. He traveled to London, and when he went to London to get a job with his, with his uh, certificate, they, they told him to go back to school, which means the education they gave us here, they didn't value it. Everything that they brought here, they placed Africa in an artificial economic contest. They made Africa to be, I mean, uh, let me just be specific to our own country. They made us to become a very low people, the education very low, everything low. And it is the right time we have a lot of responsibility on our head. Uh, we are not just getting a Biafra just for us to laugh because 
There's one statement uh, from Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana, said, if Ghana become an independent country and others have not become, they are not yet free. If Biafra become free from the Europeans, Africa need to be delivered too. So Biafra will become a basis upon which Africa will be delivered from the European occupation. So I... I love this program so much because it is always awakening something in my life concerning this thing that we are doing. Thank you so much. Let's be courageous. Let's be, let's be strong in what we are doing. And another thing is that most of them are not understanding. That's why sometimes if they follow, follow, follow within a short while, they will begin to, um, their faith will begin to go down because they don't understand. I think this is one of the reasons why my opinion on the movement is one of the major reasons why family writers started following me on Facebook. It was a surprise to me because of the, whenever they post something, I give my own comment. And my comment is going to be based on my understanding of the struggle. They made a statement either yesterday or day before yesterday concerning the uh, the underground. Many people started um, shouting at them that what is the underground doing? They, I understand that the, that underground is one of the branches of IPOP structure that many people cannot see or understand, except that you are in that um, body, you cannot understand what the the the. Uh, what the underground um, branch, one of the, the branch, one of the branches of uh, IPOP struggle, uh, they, are, they are called the underground. What they are doing there, they are not making it public. It is that that underground is what uh, is where the information that is going to make this um, uh, our struggle to become strong. That is where it is coming from. And many people are trying to um, they are trying to contribute to give their contribution on how that people should handle IPOP on how the DOL should do. Or everybody have the opinion, but IPOP are not working with public opinion. They are working with collective opinion based on the people that form the body. And they are really doing well. For the fact that they have tried their best to release a that are good, I believe that Mazen and Kanye is going to come out. Whether they like it or they don't like it, he is going to come out because that is my confidence he will come out. And if he, he will, let me, not, let me not be negative, he is going to come out. So, Having a biased man that is not going to come out is on your on your you are on your own, or maybe you are one of the autopilot. So our people must be very courageous in what we are doing, and also understand what there are many people that used to come to this um, program every day. So they will go and discuss us with their uh, Eba, or they will come out just for them to come and hear what uh, they don't want to. I don't know. Or they hear whatever they think, but I believe that whatever we discuss here is not outside of what we are doing in this struggle. Mazi Tukwemaka, thank you so much. I really love your voice and your, the way you speak. Thank you so much. Bless you and may Elohim be your strength. You see, an average black man has 15 second memory. That is the word of our leader, Onyendu Mazen Nandekano. What did he, we always say, anybody that is a student of Radio Biafra will remember when I
Oh, hey, Biafra Mazi. Can you hear me, please? Can somebody indicate that he's hearing me? Thanks very much, Mazo Ziomachi. You see, we keep, we they keep attacking us. I don't know. Once I mention what our people are going through in that contraption causing in Nigeria, once I talk anything about the event that is happening in that happened in Lagos during that election time, I will be completely switched off from this program. This will show you how serious our enemies are. This will show you how mean our enemies are. So I want to remind Biafrans, look at the, uh, the phone call our uh, leadership put in place, the Biafra Worldwide phone call. Please make sure you are part of it. Please make sure that you make that call. Our numbers matters. We have the numbers to live as free people. We have the numbers to live as free people. But because some of us are not coordinated, they are making our journey more far than it seems to be. Before we continue, I gave uh, somebody, I wanted to give somebody uh, a, a mic to talk. This person with the name Simon, can you hear me? If I hope, because our people are yes, not talking about yes, everything you. that answers. Can you hear me, Mazi? Yes, yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, because our people are cautioned about agent provocateur. So if you are one of the autopilots, I will advise you to just switch off. We don't need to, we don't want, even want to hear whatever you have to contribute here. But if you are, if you are in the struggle and knows exactly what is happening and you want to contribute to save life of Biafrans, you are welcome. Please introduce yourself. And if you are in that contraption called you Nigeria, you don't need to tell us your location. But you are, if you are outside, you are welcome. The mic is yours, Marcy. No, I am not in Nigeria. I yeah, am in, I'm in Italy. Yeah. My Continue, Marcy. My name, my name is Uchenna Simon Nanyaki. You are welcome. So, so I live in Italy. So, Continue, been, Matt, the mic I, is yours. I've I, I been following you, uh, but today I now saw the, the Twitter program. Say, so, so let me join. So, there is so a, you can, you can uh, give your friend your message and freedom, uh, lovers of freedom from all, all over the world. We are listening. Continue, Mazi. I don't know. I don't know because it's, it's a complaint that I want to make. I don't know if it is wise to say it here. Huh? We are listening, Mazi. Let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, if it's not uh, enough, I will call you. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm I'm from originally from Imo State, Okigwe, Okigwe, uh, in Ako, Ako Village. So uh, there is a, there is a guy who 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 is his name is uh, Ifan Tukwezi. He says he says uh, he he's a member of uh, ESN in my in my in my village. So and right now he's, he's terrorizing the the whole the whole member of my of my my village. Everybody in my there is no one in my village anymore. Everybody everyone has has run out from my village. Mazi, yeah? Mazi, please can you repeat this person's name because ESN does not terrorize anybody. Yeah. If That's why it's good to always listen. Hold on, please. That's why it's good to always listen to any broadcast that is coming from our chief of defense, Mazi China Samuru. Yes. Yes. Or whenever the doors are online, if that's why it's very, very important you listen to them. Yes. Just give me the name of the person, and after that, I will still tell you what to do. Okay, sir. What is the name of the Okay, sir. His name is Ifan Ichukweze. Ifan Ichukweze. From which village, please? From from uh, Ako Ako Kigwe. Ako. Ako Kigwe. Yeah. Ako Okigwe. Okay. Yeah. You see, uh, let me tell you something, Mazi. Okay. Sir. Uh, IPOB shared uh, emergency number for people like this. Okay. Sir. So now that I hope you are following me on Twitter, because after yes. this, after yes. send me a DM. After this, if you don't have the number, I will send you the number. Thank God you are in Italy. Okay. Which city are you in Italy? I'm in Milan. Okay. 
After that, you, I will send you the telephone number in case you don't have it, our emergency line. Okay. You have to call the number, you have to give the name of this person, and you have to report his crimes. Okay. Our people will investigate. The M brand, they will investigate this thing you are saying, and if it's true, he will surely get what he deserves. This is exactly what okay, Mazichina Sanwuru came up in the, this thing on the radio to talk about, I think, uh, last two weeks or some, sometime like that, because we expect people like this to come up to try and commit crime that they will put back on our lead onion Dumas and Nande Kanu to make sure that he doesn't come out, to make his case more difficult for the lawyers that are fighting to bring him out to defend. So these people, people like this are the agent provocateurs. Those, these are the people sabotaging whatever we are doing. Even though our leader came out in court and said he is in DSS detention to make sure that Biafra land is quiet, that Biafra land is safe, that Biafra land is peaceful. You still have elements like this, working for Hope Uzodimma, working for Dave Rumahi and some other corrupt politicians. Those that conspire to make sure that they kidnap our leader and rendition him. Those people, those that are working for them, they are long hands there in, 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 in eastern part of the region, eastern region of that contraction called you Nigeria, are what you're seeing. So it's good you called, it's good that you're saying this. Do you have more things to say, Mazi Simon? No, oh, sir, I don't have anything to say because I, I am in, I am in IPOB uh, in Monza Group in Milan. So, the any, any because uh, I cannot read the, the high, the high, uh, the high authority. That's why I say, let me complain, complain here. Say so that I, maybe, maybe I can get the contact of the the high, high superior so that they will know what how how they can help me because my village now no nobody is in, nobody is there. The no, it is. It is good you reported, but I was expecting at least that the coordinator from your zone there in Monza should, should still be able one word or the other to give you those this information I will still send to you through DN, through uh, this uh, uh, um, Twitter message. I'm still going to send you the numbers that you will call. If you call the way, just the way you make this, let this complaint here, there will be somebody that will be there to take this complaint over and it will be thoroughly controlled and worked on to make sure that, that that terrorist terrorizing your community does not continue that way, that such nonsense stop, because these are what our leadership are fighting. Thanks very much for calling, and thanks very much for, for bringing this message across. This is what we are asking Thank our you. people. Be bold enough when things like this are happening in your community. Don't keep quiet. Because that injustice, that terror that they are committing in that community, we poison the mind of our people against what we are doing. Everybody that knows our leader, anybody that understands the philosophy of our leader, Onyendu Mazin Nandekano, the prince from East, the prince of peace, knows completely that the last thing our leader wants is that the blood of a single Biafran is wasted for his own sake. If it is a man that wants something like that, believe me, Biafra land will be burning by now because he has the men. He has the numbers. But because he knows exactly what to do, he is a man that has the love of Biafran at his heart, at the middle of his heart. That's why Biafra land remains peaceful. Even when all part of Nigeria is burning like anything, that place, that piece of land, like as he used to say, that Biafra, continue to remain a peaceful place. Thanks very much, Mazi, for joining us. You see, it's time our people wake up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mazi. It's time our people wake up. It's time our people understand that this fight to restore Biafra is not just anything, but it's a fight of survival, even more serious than when our ancestors fought 1967. The class of 1967, those men that snatched guns from the enemies with bare hand, knowing exactly what is at stake. So this current generation that have access to internet, this current generation that have amenities, different amenities that our, our ancestors did not have, should try to make more out of it. They should try one way or, or the other to do more out of this, out of this particular uh, situation that we have right now apart from just going online and all these things, because at the end of the day, you will see 
as things are drawing, these events keep drawing closer, as things keep drawing closer, these, our enemies are not sleeping. They will start introducing different kind of things to uh, uh, our youth from BB, uh, BB uh, uh, Niger and the uh, different kind of things, just to make sure that one word or the other, that our youth are not concentrating to the core problem that they will face tomorrow. But what we are fighting is to make sure that no matter what they do, that we restore Biafra, no matter what they do, that this mandate that Okike gave our leader, that we make sure we fulfill it against all odds. Before I continue, because we are coming closer to the end of the program, I would like to give Mazi Kenechi. Mazi Kenechi Mbemeka, I hope you're there, Mazi. Can you hear me? I don't know, I don't know. Mazi, you are welcome to Biafran Twitter space. I would like you to give us short introduction. If you're in that contraption called Zoo Nigeria, you don't need to tell us your location. But if not, you are welcome. The mic is yours. Three minutes. All right. Thank you a lot. I uh, appreciate you giving me your time to speak to my brothers and my people and the good people of Biafra. Afambo Kenichi, the maker they call it our Twitter. So, more on Obodo Mandela, Nigeria. So, my little contribution ever, Ona, I. Naga Gwande DOS in particular and every member of Biafra, be it from Ibo, Ajadeta, as they call them or whatever. The case of Nam the Kano uh, is not a what Nigerian government will take lightly because they know his purpose and they know that he dedicates to what he preaches. He's not a person that they've tried him and checked him and scared him all around and found out that. Whatever he said or whatever he's preaching is what they get to, and he mean it. So them keeping him there is not that they are enjoying it. They are only keeping him there to weaken the foundation of uh, IPOB. They are only keeping him there to make sure that everything he have worked for come to an end. But establishing DOS was the greatest thing that King, the prophet achieved or in all this while he was preaching on a, a Biafra issue. So take a look at the Christianity. Obonande, permit me to speak Hebrew, please. Obonande Mbeu, continue. Uh, disciples of Christ. Ohibere, Roga Christ Timuru, Hadamba. This issue of Christianity, Omohe Gama wrote today, the case Kavaranya. So, Mazen Nam the Kano, a balem bokon with the Kedika Chilekis Quadu, Ibe DAS, Sitan and Galabaha, and we can win the Guzro, Agave Levanichi, Asena, yes, near Hokwadu or Dahumba. So, the DOS Kana was the Kahama called it, if Zina, Nya Nam the Kano Hibere, no matter Koshinade. But I have a strong belief, Nana Modicano, Caputanija. And the corner of Taki here, Gagawari, but uh, the while I can on him, can I on the US? Let them not be distracted by anything. If he be it from any saboteurs or however you may call it, from the one they call autopilot or whatever, let them concentrate, dedicate, and have focus on what the movement is all about achieving the freedom of the people of Biafra. Kaimweke, Buru, Undaebu, Zahani, Otto Wine. Biendo deka yuko siribi. Ela yihe na mene Nigeria na ni fona. Mwenye wabana bo unyi ibosi na ya support of IPOB and this Biafra movement wa wongo yo ukwashi. Because one thing wana, right from my childhood up to now, I can never see anything that make me be proud of the country called Nigeria in whichever way. There was never anything nga not today as an Igbo man. This is not here me mge jifta and proud as a Nigeria. Never. Now, look at recently, they conducted what they call election. Everybody in every part of the world who is an honest person know how that election was made. But because this particular person happened to bear the name Obi, and they know this Obi is from a particular place, they didn't give him any chance of which everybody know that he won that election. So if at this stage they could treat that person like that, 
what is the fate of any Igbo man going forward in that place called Nigeria? So it told me sometimes that when you came online, you see some people who call themselves Igbos sabotaging this struggle of Biafra only because this Biafra is the only place we can achieve our potentials as people. This Biafra is the only place that we can live and be free like people because no matter what happened in Nigeria, even the people of Niger that they've turned them against their own brother, which happened to be us. Look at the Biosa state. Jonathan was the president. He faced all trials. He faced all battle. Who was people? Who were the people behind him? Only the Igbos. We are hated for that. Where was Jonathan when election in Biosa State was given to another candidate, if not that P2B? What was Jonathan doing? So, going forward in Nigeria, the Igbo man have no hope in whichever way because they screwed us. They've arranged Nigeria and put it in a way that no matter who you are, Instead, an evil man, a learned person, an intellectual can be a leader. Let them give it to somebody who is even like MC Olomo, who got nothing, just a talk. So my little contribution is this. We, IPOB, and the lovers of freedom and lovers of Igbo, first, Igbo, that Igbo nation should not give up on this struggle. Because the, when we got this struggle is when we got to know what we are, who we are as people. So I thank the OS for not giving up at this point because that was what the Nigeria government wanted to achieve. But since they found out that no matter how they do, these struggles, they continue to work stronger. They have no choice but to do what is right, which is the freedom of Namo de Kano and the freedom of Biafra. I thank everybody. Let's not give up. Let's keep on continue working as long as this is the will of God. Nothing we stop it. Let's not give up. Thank you again for the opportunity. Bless you and may he continue to be your strength. If you go, me punka ni ni boy water go. Ono keke se ku ya susu ni gwe na buru ni si. Ofu ye kan chori guande ba. As long as the doors is consigned, and when the energy shaking. Onye si a e onye nduma zen nande kano ha ma di kendi ibo. Opo cha ha ruo ha dozi e ha. Zuo ha. Dozi e ha kudo si ike. So osi a miri zobe zobe. Osi a ngon chaba chaba. Osi iku kukube. Nda a de shik. Opa sin sa fona boka ana atuwa yo puta. Sin sa fona boka ana abwa imbo. Sin sa fona boka ana aswa yigwe. Aipo. Onwe de bedo sune eche. Onwe di iye. Onwe di iye. Udo a wopo na oso a ha bute. I put an azo, a water group. So on where the END room make the car, maybe a dart in Nukutubo, Nukutubo, and a poor IPOB. Up of Tandy Doss as captain, Donya Nisia, Hanani or Tony and Duanor, on where the END room make a hawk to Oba, and Oba, I got the Rukwe Basti Adje, Nafa Chukwe, Chukwe Kabiama, Elohim. He say, he say, he say, Biafrans, I want to remind each and every one of you. Make sure you go to Twitter, do the phone call the DOS asks us to do. Because when we are saying the DOS should not fall back, we should also remember to hit the calls of the DOS. The DOS have instructed us to make sure that we call all the international organizations that they give us the phone call. We are not living in the 18th century. In this 21st century, we have the opportunity. Everyone can make a change. So we shall use the opportunity to make that change. Those that can write, should write on, on the Twitter handle that the DOS gave us. Those that cannot write, that can talk, should call. Make that call. The more people that is calling that office, complaining of the injustice being peddled to our people, of the injustice being peddled to our leader, the silent genocide going on in the eastern region of that contraption called Zoo, Nigeria, the Gulf of Guinea, Biafra land. The silent genocide going on there the killing of our people, the illegal detention of our people, the disappearance of IPOB family members. The earlier we keep calling and keep reminding the international community what is happening there, the better that it is for all of us. So I want to remind each and every one of you, we are on the right track. Nobody can keep our leader forever inside detention. 
because just like everything has expiring date, the zoo has expired. And very soon, those people that thought they have the upper hand will be, will be, they will be scattered. They will be looking for shelter in different countries. That is the fact. We are coming to the end of their game. That is just the fact. Because right now, those that we are giving them the wind that they are riding on, the Britain, the America, they are not having the upper hand anymore. This in this current situation, in this current globe, this world we are living, it is a different world order. That's why you could see African, some African leaders coming out boldly to talk this time around. Because now we know that it's no more the armies making the call or the British or the Europeans. Now it is the Russians and the Chinas making the call. And very soon the BRICS will take over. That is the fact. We are not in the era where they will bring their propaganda and tell us their own narrative. We are in the era where we have the opportunity to say the story the way it is, real, raw, give it to them the way it is whether they like it or not, they can go and pay billions of money and try to stop us and try to block our voice and try to make sure that our message will not go through. But we will always find a way to make sure that our message go through. Today, we might not be many people on this platform today because as we are starting, they try to stop us many times. But it is every one of us, our duty, to make sure that even when after this program ended, that you share this program, that you inform people, let them know we will be coming live again next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Biafran time. The events, things are happening very fast. There is many things happening very fast. The timing and the way things are happening this time around, it is not easy. Everything is going very fast and we must be fast as the time to make sure that the message gets to our people in time. More especially this coming two weeks before our leader go to court. It is a call of duty for each and every one of us. Those that are in Biafra land, to be the watch knight, to be the watchman, to make sure you watch over your community, to make sure you watch over your neighbor, to make sure you watch over your cities. Don't give those urgent provocateurs the opportunity to keep committing crime that they will be putting on top to, uh, that they will be using as a schools not to release our leader. Because these men, these people, these saboteurs, they were paid to do this. So these are men that are ready to even kill their own brothers, sell their own mothers, sell their own parents. This is the way it is. So it is our duty to make sure we stop them. I thank uh, Mazi uh, Simon that called today and gave us information what is happening in his village. You can imagine if he didn't call those in his village that that guy was telling that he's ESN, they will be going up and down, telling other communities that ESN is terrorizing them. This is the way it works. This is the way this sabotage we are talking about is working. Even though we all know that the leader of this movement, Onyen Dumazin Nandekano or Hamadi Kendibo, the prince of peace, the prince from the east, that the last thing he will like is to shed the blood of a Biafran, to waste a blood of a Biafran. But you can see what the saboteurs are trying to do with his name. So as we draw close to the end of this program, I want to remind each and every one of you to always remain formidable, to remember that Okike is with us, that we, as we are getting close to the end of this struggle, that victory is assured, just like as our barrister said it, victory is assured, our leader will be released, just like as the leadership said it, just like as all IPOB principal officers have been giving efforts, the same way we are begging each and every Biafran to double your efforts, because this generational fight is not just against Onyendumaz and Nandekano, it is not against IPOB alone. It is against everybody from Eastern region, everybody that is called Biafran, and is a fight that we cannot afford to lose against all odds, because losing that fight means our generation will suffer in perpetual slavery. You are all seeing the way they're going after us, going after our business, going after our territory, 
going everywhere our people are doing business they are being terrorized day in day out and no international uh, outlet will carry it if not we so please uh, i want to beg each and every one of you whoever has his mic uh, Mazago, can you off your mic here here we we remain disciplined until i call you in you can talk you understand what i'm saying your mic remains silent. If I'm, if I give you the chance to talk, then you can talk. We remain disciplined, just like the way our little onion dumas and the cano taught us. We always remain disciplined. Are you using two uh, Twitter account, Mazago? Can you answer me, Mazago? Are you using two Twitter account? Yes, I'm using two. Okay, uh, let me give you two minutes, please, because we are drawing end to the uh, end of this program. And um, please, uh, can you give us short introduction? If you are in the contraption cause you Nigeria, we don't need your location. But if not, you are welcome. The mic is yours. And please, I will not tolerate anything from autopilot because a lot of people have been murdered in cold blood because of the sabotage of this so-called agent provocateur. So if you're one of them, it's better you drop the mic and go and face whatever you want to do. No, I'm not one of them. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can hear you. I just want to add up something. Okay. Uh, what I want With to say... Okay. Please. Sorry for... I don't know if you are upset for... Because I requested the mic. No, 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 no. I'm not upset. Okay. You, I, gave, I gave you the mic before with your other Twitter handle, and I saw you enter the again. Okay. I see we still get the mic. Okay. So give us a short introduction uh, uh, before you continue. I only say we don't have, because we are now at a time where we lost a lot of people. So we don't have the time to tolerate those that will come to distract us from what we are doing. Uh, this is not an autopilot uh, space or so. Okay. This is where we do real things. We strategize and execute. So if you're one of them, you can drop the mic so that it will not be as if I'm trying to be uh, 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 I'm not I'm trying to be disrespectful to you or something yeah, like that. Nothing like so that. you continue your mouth. No, 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 there's nothing like that. I understand exactly what you're saying. I just want to add up to something. I've been listening to what you're saying since. They will continue. Mm -hmm. They will. You got a moment to picture, picture, picture nine guy. Yeah, this is our money. We money. I'm a member. No. Mazi, a lot of people they think a picture. Even the man who the man who not committed this crime, that short man, devil of Finland, I have honoko one day. Up a hot chaya no ko a dossi eben in the bonya naga for bonya so upon a bonu for sin a bo disciple onion. So that is the uh, thing. Our time maybe the way you do it. Tell him I am one for Ibo or for one for man. Ndewo. Ndewo Mazi. I am one for Ibo. Then when he, then when he, then when he, uh, 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 voters card. They put him there when I had the car. Nigeria legal no tongue. I want if I want if you want him voters card. Ndewo, Ndewo man. I'm Chichi. I'm from Nemeka. He's coming from Imo State. Uh huh. As soon as we come to the corner, we be nine. Man, we're not going to say it. I be weak. Oh God, we are going to do go. Eje be na akana hende me. Eh, wo chine ke genena ya ka no gwa. So, o ni obla kwasere. E ba mbo, ya lo umye mwana hon kwa saan yi pewe epele, ade gure gwo gwa. Epele ra wo ni obla hi ipe ma kana, wo ni obla me epele ipe ma ogre. Ogo ha wo hon gwo, eje ebe, ebe na akana hende eme. Ya lo umye mwana hon kwa saan yi pewe di ne epele. O wo di nana nana eji, eh, 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 akana ebe na hende eli le, mm, 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 mm. Ele para o teu número, o meu abel ali lhe quer um eight one nine nele. Hein, o por aí é mau e brabo. O homem não é o possi, o nyo abel é o e brabo. Só a chamei por, enga o outro mundo oportunidade o possi, o nyo abel é meu e co meu. Ti o e nele brabo, o bele me tire o outro e na ali. Every day por na ali, que jos o cu bio possi tinha que ele pele 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 que é gago. O meu hago, o meu o meu o meu hago, o meu tudo hago e bruto que nele. Já o meu é mau não é o possi, o e brabo não é o possi o e brabo. Kwa zaiche we, so hongi eli leji ebe na ogu, maa kana eli le eme. Hea u chine ki wanyo gini na yaka na ogu ha. So hongi na nimu kusika mti yonu na oka, ndewo.
nde wo ma zi chukwo ka bia ma gozi egi an chukwo ka bia ma no yogi na ezi no no gi enola so bia friends and lovers of freedom from all over the world as we drawing close to to the ending of today's program i want to use this opportunity to remind the contraption called zoo authorities that our leader that they keep in their DSS dungeon, and now that they are transferring some prisoners with tuberculosis near him, I want we want to put the word on notice that if our leader that is already having heart problem, bleeding from the ear, having tetanus and different kind of things, if anything should happen to our leader, we know who to hold responsible. It will be it is there will be imagine. Things that will happen in Europe, we've told Europe many times to prepare to accept more refugees. Because this man is now, is not, is now an institution. He's not just a, 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 an ordinary human being. For us, he sees someone sacred. It is a God sent to, to us. And we are holding him, upholding him very high, above every other thing you can imagine. So those that are jealous can go and jump into River Niger. We don't give a damn. As no young young we go jail to one. So I did not the canonate to one to carry one to carry every other person. So if Nigerian government does not know, the zoo government should know it now. Another thing we want to remind our people is to make sure that this time around we watch over our back, watch over our community, watch over our city. Watch over our environs. Make sure you any unnecessary activity, unusual activity going on in your surrounding, report it just like Mazi Simon did today, so that the necessary authorities should make sure that these agent provocateurs that are planning to commit before the next date that this uh, uh, high court, the, that the Supreme Court gave for our leaders last hearing, that they don't sabotage it. Those that are still having doubt in their mind could see that since we didn't make it public that our leader is going, that Supreme Court is going to hear our leader. Those that they were lying to, that if uh, uh, Jofo is no more our leader uh, uh, representative, those that they keep telling all kind of lie, 100, they did their countdown, 150 days to Biafra come, worship, war plane that didn't come, those of you ndeli reli nde popuru buru ha poru sansa nwunye nime ha na ezuzu ari ke bu na up and down na akpo nwe ha nde no na azu plane no na achi plane ebenem na emerunu and when biafra come there will be consequence for whatever each and every one of you did those of you that ha that have no blood on their hand and fail to take the opportunity the head dos gave them in its last brokers to go back to their zone seek for forgiveness, take oath, and jump back in the train. When the time comes, you shall face the music. Those of you that are in diasporas, that are outside African continent, when Biafra is restored, we shall see us as different Biafran embassies all over the world, because we know we are keeping record. This you can be sure. In this digital era, we are keeping record and we shall hold each and every one of you accountable when the time comes. Go and write it down and say that Mazi Chukwemekanyora say this in Biafran Twitter space today on this particular date, being 30th of April 2023. And this message I dropped today shall come to pass because just like as Elohim said, the sun shall not smite us by the day nor the moon by night. So shall the world, all the whole things our leader have said in the past, those that have come in that 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 have uh, come to pass, and the remaining promise that he said is restoration of Biafra will still come to pass. So shall it be with most of the things that we are telling you people today. I thank those that are joining late, my comrade Mazi Ike uh, 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 He joined very late. Just like uh, Mazi Okeobia. No, I don't know why most of you comrades jo join so late, but I'm going to advise you to come next week because uh, we have just a short time. Okay, let me see. We can still give them five minutes. Mazi Kechukugu, let me give you the mic for two minutes, uh, please. Mazi, Mazi, can you hear me?
Uh, wait, just a second. Let me see if uh, let me give Mazi. Let me give this comrade. Uh, uh, Mazi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, Mazi, please. Uh, you you use only two minutes so that I can still give Mazi okay two minutes because you know you are a, 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 you are a constant listener to this program. You are sometimes part of the host. So you know this program is one hour program, but I'm giving this time because start at the starting of this program, we were seriously under attack from the power that are meant to be. So you can take two minutes and just share your word with Biafran Mayo. Kike, be your strength. Thank you hear? Thank the mic is yours. Thank you, Mazi. You know, I'm very, very sorry for being late to this very uh, space broadcast because I'm coming back from, you know, a meeting. So... And it's a business meeting for that matter. So I'm so sorry about that. You know, they will mark the continue. I joined in immediately and I saw the topic. And it's very, very. I actually put up the, um, what is it called? The alarm for it. But unfortunately, I offed my data, my, my data. So I couldn't get the message on time. This country called Zoo Nigeria has come up with a new propaganda to tie down our leader again because they have seen they have no single case to fight against our leader on 11th of May. So they have come again with another propaganda with the Azu police and army they caught on the way to their criminal activities. They caught them they announced that they caught some police and army going to their criminal activities. And then somehow they turned it around now on IPOB. How is IPOB related to your police and the army criminals? These people have come in now to do this just to see any reasonable, you know, cause to file up some other rubbish case against our leader to continue keeping him there. But I am trying to pass a very cognitive message to our people this night, this or this morning or afternoon, depending on where you are listening from. Don't fail or don't stop in debunking all those lies. You are not here on Twitter to watch or to laugh or to make jokes. You are here to support to guide and protect the leadership of the leadership of IPOB and Mazen Nandekano. Our main objective now is to secure his release. If his release is not, if we do not prepare and they rise up now to secure his release, we will all remain in darkness. I am telling our people now to listen to the voice of my turn now and rise up every day, every minute, every hour to debunk all their lies. Um, I will tell you now that tomorrow, next tomorrow, they will still come up with one other propaganda, one or two propaganda against IPOB. That is how they, that is how they operate. Each time they see that Onyendo's release is at hand or each time they see that Onyendo's uh, um, mm, moves or his lawyer's moves is making them weak, they will come up with another propaganda. Okay? I want our people to be very, very vigilant. Wherever you are, be very, very vigilant. They are now up again. Be very, very vigilant. Okay? Thank you, Mazi, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. Continue to bless you. Remember to be here next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Biafran time, so that we shall make sure we update our people and make them understand the time we have right now. Just like as you said, we've been hammering on this same issue. The coming two weeks is very vital because our leader, Onyendumazi Nandekano, have no case to answer anymore. This is just the fact. Forget whatever propaganda the agent provocateur are trying to push over to their few, I don't know, ass leakers, those who then that are looking for what to eat, that are looking for us that they will eat and things like that. 
they are our leader has no case. The judgment of 13th of October 2022 is sealed that this man is discharged and acquitted and no court should try him. And that's why this, the Supreme Court make in their statement to Nigerian government, you have two weeks to come and present something. If not, this case is gone. And this case is gone the way it is said. And nothing anybody can do about it. Marzi, okay, Obia, no, I don't know. Can you hear me, Marzi? Are you there? Marzi, okay, Obia, no. Okay, it's like the comrade yes, is not yes, listening. Yes, I am, I am here, Marzi, I am here. We are always on time. Our leader has okay. done many things that we will never yes, be yes, yes. in anything. Marzi, Marzi, please give us... <laughs> Mazi, please give us a short introduction and use two minutes because we've overused our time. We try to keep this space as short as possible because more people listen when this program is finished. And when you have a long section, not everybody has the time to listen to everything. So please, you have two minutes. Give us a short introduction and go straight to your point. Mechuko Kabiyama, bless you. The mic is yours. Thank you very much, uh, the uh, fellow Bia friends and the lover for freedom. My name is Sirimen Maizio Kyobiyanyo. Um, I am um, a Bia friend, a product of um, our leader, Onyendu Mazin and the Kano. And um, I thank each and every one of us for this wonderful meeting or gathering that we have today. It's like a sanitation uh, because I can see most people can say, though, I have our leader's picture. But when you don't have the official one, you are not part of us because there's a way we do things. And I believe there's a lot of people who listen to us as well here that want to learn all about Biafra. Biafra, we are indigenous people of Biafra, and there is nothing on this planet Earth will stop us not to achieve our aim and our goal for the children and children of our, our future. And I believe an other ethnic group can also do the same. It is not only Biafrans that is looking for freedom or Asidab Nobunam, Opozo Namadabu, or Nebuyanodo. If you want to achieve your own freedom from the zoo, you learn from their friends as well, learn from our leader, learn from IPOB, and you can see how you can be able to propagate your sovereignty of, uh, of your freedom of your people. So what I'm saying in essence is that DOS are wise. They are doing the needful. And our leader will soon come out by the grace of Chukuk Kabiyama, or hey Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra, Mazi, may Okike be your strength and may he continue to guide you and your family. Make sure you are here next week, uh, Sunday, 7 p.m., Biafra time, and remind your friends, your families, even your enemies, those you locate around you, tell them to come and free their slavery mentality that they are carrying up and down. They are always welcome here where we cure their madness. May Okike be your strength, uh, you see, just like as you said, we have information that the middle bed group, that they are waxing very strong. The recent problem in the southern Kaduna, where you see that the local Hausa tribes are fighting the headers, is one of the freedom, one of the freedom that our leader Onyen Dumazen and the kind of the emancipation that he gave them through his brokers. So that shows that the message, it is one of the reasons that the contraption calls you, we are spending billions to make sure that they kidnap our leader because his message that he, that he spread, his brokers was breaking a lot of boundary, a lot of chains, a lot of, the, his brokers was opening the eyes of many blind people. His brokers was freeing a lot of people in bondage. And this is what the British, their colonial master, the powers that are meant to be, those that are controlling the hegemony, that are leading the contraption cause in Nigeria, those are the things that is troubling them. He became their nightmare, and that is what they wanted to stop at all costs. And the only solution that they have is to go and kidnap an innocent man and rendition him. But I promise them that is their Waterloo. 
because the more they are holding him down, the more catastrophe, the more problem, the more confusion, the more depression, the more stress, and the more the contraption will hit the wall the way it is projected to be. And there is nothing any living human being can do against it because our train and our slogan is no retreat, no surrender until the kingdom of Chukwuka Biyama on this mother earth is restored. I want to remind you all, Biafrans, as we are coming to the end of this program, we want to commit the life and the spirit of our lead onion Dumazen Nan Dekano in the hand of Elohim Chukwoka Biyama Purimi Henine. We thank him for all his sacrifices that he has done. The same thing, I want to use this platform to thank all the IPOB principal officers, those, those that have remained truthful to the core, the hard cause, those that make sure that they are chained, that their defense are not broken. Those that make sure that no matter what the agent provocateur did, that it could not penetrate them. I want to especially thank also my national coordinator, Mazi Chinedu Collins, for the efforts with his deputy, Mazi Mwejiogu, for the work that they did, the immense work that, that they will announce by themselves very soon, all the underground work that they've been doing to make sure that the plan take over from the agent provocateur to hijack IPOB Germany, that they failed woefully. I thank them for all their efforts and their steadfast, steadfastness. The same thanks I want to give to HOD, Mazichike, Dozim, a man that is filled with, I don't know what to call it, a man that is filled, filled with uh, courage and, and should I call it, he's just like a, 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 how you call it, a man that is peaceful, a man that understands what our leader, Unyendu Mazen Nan Dekano, wants. A man, they said, a good servant always understands his master. And this is what Mazichi Kedosiem is. He understood the philosophy of Wonyendu Mazen Nandekano. He understood the value of the blueprint that was given to him. And he is true to the core. He will never sabotage and he will never let us down, just like as our leader Wonyendu Mazen Nandekano. The same thanks and praise goes to the dust. These men are wise, and wherever you are, just send out a tweet. The doors are wise. Let the enemies go and hit their head on the wall. We don't give a damn. They could electrocyte themselves. We don't give a damn. Or they can fall into Libanija. We don't give a damn. I want to also use the opportunity to thank the host for giving us this platform today, for not giving up as we're under attack at the beginning of this program. He continued, Mechuku Kabiama, be your strength. And I want to thank all our listeners. Those that refuse to leave the platform, those that refuse to leave this space at the beginning, with all the attack we face, those that remained and said, no, today we must create this awareness. We must do it together. It is our fight. We cannot leave it for our generation. No matter what the enemies are doing, no matter the power behind them, we will stand our ground. I want to thank each and every one of you, and I want to encourage you to be here next week 7 p.m biafra time because we are going to present a very interactive session where everybody will have the opportunity to contribute where everybody will get the latest of where we are going you like as you all know in exactly 12 days time if i'm not mistaken our leader will appear in court biko May Chukwu Kabiyama continue to bless each and every one of you. May he remain your strength. From me, from here, it is good evening. May Okike be your strength. He say, he say, he say, Oh, hey, Biafra. Yes, yes, Mwachineke, Oh, hey, Biafra. He say, IPOB, we remain one family and nothing is going to destroy it. Good evening, Omo Chukwu Kabiyama. And always remember to tune in to Radio Biafra. And tell those that have not downloaded IPO, IPOB community app to make sure they do so. Ndewo, Ndewo.